Alrighty. Hello, hello everybody. This is Kirusho here, and now, before we do start, let's give a brief little review. In the last part, a number of things have happened. We had Izuku. Izuku, him and Zatanna, the two, they left Azerath. They decided to have some time off. Deku, obviously he has his trigger finger acting up. The Joker's alive and well, and Deku had to talk to the man and convince him to work with the heroes to try and stop the Batman who laughs. Now, Deku, obviously this is not an easy thing for him. Him and the Joker are on the same side. I believe I've already said enough. Now, Izuku, him and Zatanna left and they at least made someone aware. Zatanna left a note for someone to find. And... They were kind of confused. Right now they're not too sure why, but the Red Hood and Zatanna are heading out. Together. So, huh. Okay, that's happening. They were in their minds. They at least made somebody aware. And it's kind of understandable right now why this is the case. Deku, obviously he doesn't want to be an Azrath because the Joker is here. And Zatanna... She knows how to make the portals, so, I mean, it's kind of understandable for her to go with him to keep a close eye on him. Now, that's where their mind was at. And Deku, him and Zatanna, they went to a bar and played pool. Zatanna altered the minds of some people so they would stop focusing on the Batman who laughs and all the crazy stuff going on with the heroes. And the two, they enjoyed the night. Now... With all that being said, let's currently pick up with Deku. Right now, we do have him the next morning. Him and Zatanna, they are still hiding out in one simple place. Deku, he was able to gain access to one of his old bank accounts. One of the ones he set up and uses as a cover. He was able to get some money from it and get them a place to stay. And Zatanna, she actually is kind of happy that her and Deku, they can actually spend a bit of time together. I mean, in Azrath, things are all Batman, and things are all, we gotta stop him. Things are all just planning, planning, and training. And even whenever you do take a day off, you still get pulled into the action. There are sightings, there are things that might be clues, might just be chaos, it's just... It's a whole thing. Bruce Wayne is throwing them for a loop. In the entirety of everything he does. The Amazons might go to war with each other. Over Diana. And Atlantis. It's not too sure what is going on over there. But things cannot be good. And speaking of Atlantis. We do have the Batman who laughs. You have Arthur. The king of Atlantis. Aquaman. He has been sitting on his throne. He has stayed in his city to protect his people. If anything happens that needs his attention or involves Bruce, he wants to know, have an immediate alert, and help out. But he's not going to go to Bruce because Bruce is coming to him. And we do actually have floating up above the ocean. Batman is going to float there. Him staring down. He is curious. He wants to know exactly how much Atlantis can take. How durable are Atlanteans? How strong are they? How resilient are they? And, well, like boiling a lobster, do they scream whenever they're burned alive? Especially in that hot ocean water? That ran on Bruce's mind. His eyes going to pour with red energy. And Bruce Wayne is going to look down. Him going to descend into the depths. And with that, we do currently have Deku. Who he actually is laying in bed. And he does think about a few things. None of their comms have gone off. People have tried talking to them, but they've made things quite clear. They are going to look into the underworld. Yeah, I mean, they're taking their own time. But Izuku, he's trying to find contacts and information 
it's sort of sluggish because criminals, they're a bit more afraid. I mean, if you know a hero's name and you know what they do, what are you going to do? You're not going to be scared of them. They may either be more violent, more intense, or they could just kill you. I mean, now they're running from the law and they can't be themselves. They can't take off that mask because they're just the hero now. No more secret identities. They're all gone. And Deku, he does have that thought in his mind. As Zatanna is going to walk out of the bathroom, right now, Gwyneth wants to sit down. Her going to actually turn and go to actually put on her shoes. Asking Izuku if anything good has been on the news. I'm going to bring his hand up. Turning off the TV and telling her. Yeah. Good and news kind of aren't two words he'd say are in the same sentence right now. Are things that bad? Yeah. I'm number six on the most wanted list, though. For vigilantes. Who's number one? Okay, I, I might have sounded a little stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just caught me off guard. Number six ain't bad, though. Who's second? Kara. Who's third? Yeah, I kind of don't want to talk about that right now. Mad at your placing or mad that you're not higher? <sighs> okay, Satana, so I've already tried calling my contacts and seeing what we can do. None of them know I'm, I'm the Red Hood because he's a fake alias. The underworld is full of people who are trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Right now, though, people heard whispers. They also think they know where Batman might be. Really? Not entirely too sure. It might all be made up, or it might be a distraction. A way to bring people in and use them. Bruce would do that, wouldn't he? Bruce does anything for his victory now. We don't know what he's planning because we don't know what he'll do. No limits, no concerns, no fears about what he'll push people to do. And that just means chaos. Though I do have an idea. Really? What's the idea? Bruce published the list of every hero on Earth. So you want to try doing this with the villains? Sort of. I know that there's a few villains out there who definitely need to be killed. Bruce is doing quite a few things, though. He's trying to get people on his side. I've looked into it a bit, and I'm not too sure if we can find them, but I thought about calling the Court of Owls, or trying to find anyone who knows anything, calling anyone who knows anything. It's just sort of, you don't find them, they find you. They're hiding in Gotham. I know Bruce has information about them, but not a lot of it is concrete. Though, a Gotham elite, one he suspects of being a member. If I remember correctly, I saw something about one. Um, if I'm right, I think his widow is still alive? Really? So, so you think that she's with the court? It's a possibility. Though, I think the Red Hood making an appearance in Gotham again will be a problem. So, I thought about the Arkham Knight, and I even thought about putting on Bruce's cowl, but... It's an issue. What do you mean? Bruce is prepared for an inevitability like this. His accounts hidden away and locked up. I have access to them, but I also have access to a few of the hidden places around the world he's built. Hidden places? Bat caves, bat caves worldwide. You can't be serious. I sort of am. He had one for traveling, he had one for certain regions, and he also has one for the Arctic. So, 
Yeah. He just, he likes to be a very prepared man. And that's helping us. It's also trapping us. The moment I access any of these things, he might notice. Or he might not. We don't exactly know a few things. And that's the issue. So, that's the problem? Yeah. Listen, Z, I know things are a bit strange for us right now. We've got to find a way into the underworld. Hopefully hear whispers and go from there. Maybe Bruce is recruiting. You... You seriously think it's a good idea to try and be on his side? We don't have to be on his side. We just need to know where he's going to be. That is our main concern. It makes sense, Izuku, but... You sure you don't want to spend... the day off, too? As... As nice as last night was. Drinking, partying, having some fun. I'm not too sure. Zana actually doesn't want to turn. And go to ask him. Bring your hand out onto his. If, they should go back to the House of Mystery. And try to see what they want there. Whether or not Bruce has made a move. We'll know. Our comms will ding and a few things will happen. Sure. Though, I'm worried about a few other things. Like, he murdered the League. And that means he can murder all of us. I've done as much as I can to conceal us from him. But he's going to try and find us eventually, right? All of us? All of the magic users are trying their best to hide heroes. But they're also trying to be conservative with this. What do you mean? If something big goes on, we're not too sure whether or not we should let it go or let someone else handle it. And that's the issue. Amanda Waller has Department K in the Suicide Squad, dealing with a few things. And it's an issue. It is. So, we gotta find out what to do. Yeah. The moment Bruce is dead, we can try to go back to normal, right? I don't know. We can try, but the world knows who we are. I know. Though, doesn't Bruce have something on file to help us with this? He has a lot on file. I thought about trying to talk to some of the new gods. Really? Yeah. They're pretty powerful, and I think I can probably convince at least one of them to help. <laughs> I I'm sorry. That sounds like a really bad idea, Izuku. They've helped out us, and we've helped out them a lot. I know for a fact, at least one of them's got to do something. What is her name? Big Barda? I think her name is. I'm trying to remember his name too, but I'm forgetting him so bad. It's... It might be Orion, but I might be wrong on that. I think I know who you're talking about. You do? He's the guy who flies on that one thing, right? I think? It's basically just like a fancy aircraft, but... New God, technology, yada, 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 yada. It's hard to explain. Okay, I'm fine. Uh, something wrong? No, no, I'm just... I thought I was going to puke for a second. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. My, uh... My Lazarus man has been acting up a bit, but I'll be okay. What do you mean he's been acting up? Zatanna... I don't know if I should tell you that. Tell me what? The voice in my head is trying to mess with me again. It's switching between fighting and... 
us. Really? Wait, us? Yeah. It's trying to tell me about Barbara and a few of the things that are trying to piss me off. Zana actually is not going to scoot herself onto the bed and fully turn to Izuku, asking him exactly what's up, her pulling her left leg up onto the bed. It's just... I don't... <sighs> it's about Barbara, and it's about Dick, and I don't like hearing what it says about them. Oh. Is it bad? Well, considering the fact that there's a voice in my head that's telling me basically that my ex is really my brother. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, fuck. I know. I know it's not true, though, because Dick and Corey are together. That That's better, right? It is. Though I had to keep telling myself rationally that that thought, well, it does piss me off, it's not true. It isn't. Izuku, I might be able to help you silence that voice. Really? Yeah, I can. But now Deku's not going to sit up. And put his back fully against the frame of the bed frame. Now, Zodana does continue talking, expressing to him. She knows it might be a little bit complicated, but she can whip this thing up really quickly and see if that might work. Though, um, she's a little concerned with just a random spell. It could work now, but she doesn't know what it could do. What do you mean? Well, I mean, it can work now, but it won't work later. It's just to... I need to be precise with my words. Okay, so it's just like logomancy. That's a big part of it, yeah. But also, there needs to be rules to it. Parameters set to it. The more, the more complex a spell, the longer my wording has to be. It's not a bad thing, but it's also a bit of a deal. A deal. Like a contract, kind of. If I don't choose my words right, the spell might have a loophole. Oh, it's that type of thing. Yeah, it really is. Is it saying something to you now? No. It's stopped. I just... I'm a bit concerned. Zama actually going to lean into Deku. And right now she's going to bring her hands up, grabbing onto him. Talking about how she does get that he's concerned. She understands that. But maybe they should head back. Really? Yeah. It might be a good idea. We had a night to ourselves. And now we have to deal with the responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're right, Z. <laughs> Don't call me that. Right. Zatanna. Listen, I do appreciate the help. But is there anything I can do to help you? I mean... I don't like to owe people. Izuku, you don't owe me. You need help, and I'm here. Okay? I get it. But there's got to be something I can do. I can think of a few things. Really? Yeah, I can. Listen, Izuku. Maybe... If you want to help me, act a bit more like yourself. Think more like Izuku, and not Batman. We need to take down Bruce, and restore order. Bring things back to how they are supposed to be. But after all that's said and done, we'll figure it out all out. If we need to, there's an idea I do have. And with Dr. Fate's powers, if we do merge, we'll gain access to 
an un unattainable amount of power for us. Yeah. Um, Naboo said that the power we could gain, it would be godlike. Is that true? It is. But that amount of power, it's going to mess with us for a while afterwards. You think so? I do. It's definitely going to feel strange to come off of it, but I think that will be okay. As long as, we've had, as long as we have each other to deal with this, we'll be fine, okay? I got that. I'm just... I'm trying my best to keep my cool. And I need to go see Tim. Okay, okay, do you want to go see Tim right now? Yeah, I gotta go see him. Okay, well, let's just stay here for a few more minutes, okay? Right. Where is Zatanna going to actually climb onto Deku? Her going to bring her hands up and wrap them around him. Her going to pull him into a hug. And Deku does just somewhat sit there like that, holding Zatanna. She wants him to calm down, stay calm. If he freaks out or panics, then he might hear the Lazarus pit. If he hears the voices again, he's not too sure what might happen. She's been trying to keep him grounded, stable. It's been difficult, but they've managed. They're able to do this. But Dr. Fate's helmet. When Bruce pops up again next, using that power outright, it could harm the universe. It could rip apart the cosmos. Yeah. Naboo made things quite clear. It isn't a good thing whenever that power needs to be used. If you use it too often, space and time apparently might rip themselves apart. So there's that. It won't be easy, but killing Bruce Wayne is the only option. That's all they've got. And that is right now on Deku's mind. As there actually is over in Atlantis. Arthur. The man who once lived on the surface. Unaffected by what's happened to man's world. Unaffected by his identity being revealed. He's the king of Atlantis. He sits here on the throne. He waits. He will not leave his kingdom unprotected. He has tried to talk to many people about this threat. Some understand, and they are at his side to protect this kingdom. Others, they're not too sure. Others have tried to do what they can, and they have vanished. And the ones who don't want to work with him, they don't seem to comprehend it. If Bruce comes to Atlantis, there won't be anything left for no one to rule over. How will you rule over rubble? How will you rule over the graves of thousands? Wherever you're sitting there on the throne, and you look out and command your armies, the silence will be deafening. There will be no army. Only the corpses and the blood in the water. The taste of iron in your mouth. That's all you'll have. A hollow throne. And yet, villains still resist. Too stubborn to try and save the goddamn world. The world they all live in. And that, that is one of the quarrels of being the king. He has to make decisions and choices. And one choice he's made right now is keeping the throne on high alert. Keeping this all on high alert. And Bruce Wayne, right now he doesn't somewhat going to stand there. Him floating above the surface, staring down into the sea. He stares directly at Aquaman, and he thinks about what he's about to do. Well, that is all happening. We do actually have Deku. Deku and Zatanna, they do someone sit there, still holding on to each other. Before Deku's communicator, it does it a go off, and so does Zatanna's, and that is not good. Deku going to turn and grab his earpiece, 
as Zatanna actually saw someone to turn to her right and would to climb off of Deku. Her throwing out her left hand onto the bed and bringing out her right hand. Her stretching it out to the other dresser and grabbing onto her earpiece. Her bringing it up to her ear as Deku, he's already hearing about the situation. It doesn't sound good. They want to know where the both of them are. And Deku, he does at least start to make up the story about them trying to meet their contacts. Since it's been on the down low for right now. People are moving information slowly and trying to be cautious. But Deku, he does get told about what's happening. Wherever they are, they need to evacuate if it's near a coast. And Deku's confused. Him trying to ask about exactly what the hell's happening. And they do try to explain. That being where Deku doesn't hear it from Hawkman. The coastlines, they are retreating. And he's fairly certain anywhere near the coast is about to be destroyed. And Deku, he doesn't want to jump up. Him going to turn to Zatanna. What's going on? We don't know. It has something to do with a massive amount of water being displaced. We try contacting Aquaman, but nothing has been made clear. Listen, whatever is happening, it's not good. Right. Okay, uh, we'll be right there. Deku going to turn, pressing off the comms as Zatanna does get to turn to Deku. Her at least trying to talk about it. She heard about half that. Fill her in. Her going to turn and open the portal. And Deku does express. Shit's going down. The two are going to walk through it. And Deku does arrive back in Zatanna's room. Her actually someone going to turn and throw herself at Deku. And Deku, him and Zatanna do get someone going to kiss. As she is trying to tell him, going to pull away and snap her fingers. The two reappearing in their regular outfits. Deku with his jacket full of knives and guns. And Zatanna in her magician outfit. Her expressing. Okay. So, she gets that that was a bit more aggressive, but this is definitely a all hands on deck situation. I got it, Z. <laughs> Don't call me. I'll let that one slide. I can get angry at you later. <laughs> sure you'll get angry. Listen, I appreciate this. I gotta go. I'm gonna turn and run. And right now at Zatanna's door, someone was about to bring up their hand to knock on it. Deku is going to pull it open and go to actually somewhat turn to Grayson. Grayson a bit more surprised. Deku telling him, they got to go. His room, now. And Deku's confused. As Deku, he does tell him, fly you fucking bastard. And Deku just stare at him a bit more angry. Him, grabbing on to Deku, and going to turn. The two are going to bolt down the hallway fast. And Deku, yeah. Because of that comment, Dick, Dick does one simple thing. He allows Deku to feel a bit more of that movement. And Deku, well his body is built, and he has been through the ringer, there are very few things that can really make him spew chunks. And right over Deku, he is dropped off right in front of his room. He does want to turn. Him throwing his hand out, and going on to, well, almost upchuck the contents of his stomach. As Deku... He does sit there, at least trying to think about the G-Force. Grayson did that on purpose. Okay, I'm going to turn and open his door, walking in and telling the computer about the parameters. Him bring his hand down as the nanites do to cover his arm. And Deku, he does get to get ready. War is about to break out. And as that's happening, we do cut to actually Coast City, where the water, it was retracting. And someone they sat on the beach. Them going to hear the ocean just splash against the shoreline before. What? Where? Where's the. I'm going to actually. So I'm going to sit up and look. As the water, it's. Oh no, 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 no. Right now, everybody's so going to look around. Some staring on it, confused, as others do a turn, yelling and screaming about how all of them need to get the fuck off of the beach. And the person who just sit there, they do continue to watch. Them staring on. The water isn't going to move forwards yet. It's been way more than 15 seconds. And the water's still retreating. That, that's a tsunami. It's, they're all already dead. The person actually isn't going to turn. And, go to bolt. 
one of them clawing their way, jerking under their feet, and running. Them shouting about exactly what the hell is happening. Now, we do actually have Atlantis, where Arthur, he does float there. Him just going to look around at what used to be his city. He tried to call for help, but Bruce, he made things quite clear. He wasn't alone. He was not alone. Dear God, all of this just too fast. Too, too fast. That on his mind, as he does, I'm going to look down at his chest. Him trying to pull the trident jerky out of his gut. As Bruce, he does still sort of sit there. Him going to bring his foot jerky up and onto the trident again. Him telling Arthur, You know, he made things quite clear. He's the one who built that tech. He's the same person who can activate the self-destruct sequences. The same person who knows exactly where it's all located. How it was all built. He really thought it was the best idea to continue to use it. He is a king, but he is not a smart man, is he? Bruce, stop. You see, Arthur, I'm not going to. Aqua is going to run in and throw up his weapons. As right now Bruce is going to turn, seeing an Aqualad, going to smile, saying hi to the new fish stick, as he's going to blast out his heat vision. And right now Aqualad, he has blasted the full totality of the vision. Him going to have his arms fall forward onto the ground, blood swinging out of them as right now Arthur, he turns his head to see what's left of Aqualad. His arms and legs, everything above, God, everything above the thighs, and they're all gone. It's just the limbs. And Arthur does a turn. Him going to bring his hands down to his trident. Him beginning to actually try and pull it back more and more, screaming out in both pain and anger. As Bruce does a look down, his eyes going red, telling his old friend, they aren't going to do that now, are they? Him going to bring his hand down and grab onto Arthur's neck. He wants to look him in the eyes when he fries. Now, Bruce is a blast of the heat vision, and Arthur does a scream out. Him bring his hands up and try to actually smash into the Batman glass, punch him across the face as he actually does feel his eyes burn. He feels the heat. He feels them drying out. He needs to rehydrate. He needs to make sure he stays hydrated. Bruce is in his territory. And this is the King's Trident. Him bringing his hands down once more. And ripping it out from his gut. As right now he does this, try to roll over and get to his feet. Bruce is going to laugh at the battle damage he's already taken. He tried using monsters. He killed them. He tried doing a lot. He killed them. He poisoned the water outside this very dome. And his people... They are losing their fucking minds. He wants them to go to the mascara. He wants to make sure that the mascara, it knows what happens here. It knows because it is next. It knows because it is where he will have his army. The army of the Amazons. Powerful warriors who do not yield. Who do not show fear in insurmountable odds against them. They will fight till they die, and they usually die standing. So, what better army for the man who wants to destroy the world? Just give them a little bit of gas, and things will turn out differently. And that is currently on his mind. And we do actually have the League. The League, they try to respond to what's happening. The epicenter of all of this is Atlantis. And Arthur has not responded to any communications. But there actually is Dick Grayson. Dick got a weapon forged from Failsafe. And Failsafe has made things quite clear about what exactly his role is with this blade. What exactly his role is whenever he does get to unsheath it from the lead sheath. Everybody needs to be careful and wary. He's provided them with certain things. 
But the moment Bruce does try to fight hard, he will have reinforcements and allies. And that's the problem. And Bruce, he currently does go to fly back up in the air. Him going to revel in his victory. All of Atlantis bend to his will. All of Atlantis dead. Or enslaved. Laughing maniacally and on their way to the mascara. Isn't it such a... Right now, Batman going to hear a laughter. And he does look good as don't freeze. And he's just going to turn his head. Turn to focus. And we do actually cut to somewhere far away. He hears it cutting through the buildings, cutting through the sounds, the heartbeats, everything. He hears it in Gotham. He hears it in Crime Alley. The man laughing maniacally. And that, it pisses him off. Because he killed the Joker. So why the fuck is he alive? And then I turn and blitz his way directly to Gotham. Smashing through buildings and places. Even people to get there. And Bruce does not care. He makes things quite clear. He's heading there in a straight line. No bullshit in his way will stop him. And that's what Deku, he's counting on. And there actually is outside of Gotham where the heroes do to stand, the clown prince of crime, their homing beacon. And Deku, he does float there in the air, him ready. They only have one shot at this. If it fails, then, well, it fails. They can try again, and again, and again. But... Isn't that just insanity? And Deku, he does going to think that. Him giving the suit some new parameters. And the suit is going to respond. Izuku, he's going to try his best. He stands there with his brother, Dick, flying there. And he doesn't hear it in his ear. He hears Tim, his voice. And Tim is going to talk about it. He's back in their networks, but a few things are happening, and he's just got to figure all of this out. Afterwards, he's got to... You okay, Tim? I'm fine. Shut up and don't ask me that question. Tim, take it easy. I'll be okay. Just... <sighs> Let me do my thing. Right. Got it. Okay. Thanks. Glad to have you guys back, too. I missed you. <laughs> Renault Deku gonna smile. And so does Dick. As there actually is Bruce. He does appear with a sonic boom. And he's already radioed in exactly what is the problem. And Diana, while she is invading the mascara, there is the fact that the heroes here, they are all on high alert. And the mascara... They very soon, they could have sent out a distress call. And whenever that is going to happen, some members of the League try to think about what to do. The Mascara is under attack by something. And the Batman who laughs is right in front of them. Again, I mean, this is their chance. And the Joker, he is pulled back into Azeroth. He's the bait. And right now, the bait has drawn in a very, very big fish. And that fish is not happy. Things are not supposed to be this way. The fact of the matter is, things are supposed to be simple and easy. Things are supposed to go according to his game. And his game doesn't have a fucking clown in it. And that, that pisses off Bruce Wayne something severe. And when he doesn't go rocketing in, he has a flying forwards. Him alerting in his own team about what's going on. And right now somebody, they do go to open a portal. A boom tube being open as someone is going to walk out onto a rooftop. The person is going to look up and smile. And they do look up to see the heroes. Many of them floating there, waiting for Bruce Wayne. And right now, he is actually going to stop and sit there in front of the heroes. He is outnumbered. But... He is not alone. And the heroes are going to hear the lightning crackle. 
as the person on the rooftop is they say one simple word. Shazam! Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed, and have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.